Boys, it's a good day. We got my chicken fried rice. And if we go to the channel, we gained seven subs overnight, but look at this. Holy smokes, that shit blew up. It was at 50 views last night. I woke up and I had nine plus notifications up here. I'm like, what's going on? I had a bunch of comments and like subs. It was crazy, crazy, crazy. So I'm a professional YouTuber now. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you an update. Let's get right into the video. All right, boys, what's going on? I'm doing the Jack Hopkins style video today. One very, very important lesson that I've learned and implemented this year has been the importance of how you look. How you look, how you smell even, will determine how many connections you make, how many people take you seriously. And as it pertains to business, that means money made or lost. So this is a very important video. So here's why not dressing like a geek is important, right? First impressions absolutely matter. Earlier this year, I was networking with a bunch of millionaires. Long story short, I sent a bunch of emails, got in contact with a bunch of people in the solar industry. I had to do a bunch of face-to-face -face Zoom calls and even met like one of these solar multi-millionaires. He has a nine-figure solar business. I met him in person. You can't expect any of these high-level people to take you seriously if you're not dressed properly. He says, well, he has no shirt on, but you know, do as I say, not as I do. So no one will take you seriously if you don't have a nice crisp outfit on, if you're not looking good in a suit. Prime example, I have a landscaping business. If I pull up to a job site and I don't have, you know, a nice clean shirt, it's all covered in dirt, I can lose money on that, right? I've gotten the feeling from a lot of clients that people just didn't like me on the first time they saw me. Oftentimes, I just portray like less confidence when I'm going out and, you know, booking clients and booking jobs. If I'm not in a clean outfit, right, I have less confidence. They have less confidence in me because I don't look professional. So no one takes you seriously if you don't look good. Reason number three, more confidence. Like I already said, dress good, look good, feel good, close more deals, make more money, better life, etc. Okay simple math better instagram pics i used to think that your numbers on social media were irrelevant social media is how you present yourself to the world when you meet somebody what do you do you give them your instagram this is the business card of the modern day it's actually a really good way to think about it i'm pretty proud of that analogy this is your this is your business card right this is saying this is who i am right so if you meet somebody important that later you want to network with you have to have a compelling Instagram, Facebook, whatever, social media presence. The more followers you have, the more likely they are to message you back. Let's just be honest, right? And a big part of how many followers you get is the pictures you take. So trust and crisp for an Instagram picture is absolutely crucial. This is another one your boy took in Spain, in Madrid, looking fresh. Okay, I'm going to go through the autistic level details, the accessories, tailored fits, finding your style, the ankle thing, right? Autistic level details we're going into today. Your physique and a cherry on top. Let's get into it. What I've learned, all right? Accessories, exhibit A, are like the number one way to gain the respect of dudes. Chains, rings, not so much important, but a nice watch. When you go for a handshake, right? If you go for a business meeting, if you go to meet clients, whatever, you give them a handshake, the first thing they see is your watch, right? Watches turn dudes on. Let's be honest. If you're straight, you like a good watch. So get a nice watch. It's not expensive. This one, it looks like a Patek, but it was like 30 bucks on Facebook. Just something that catches their eye, right? I was selling my truck the other day, as you might've seen in a previous video. And the guy who actually ended up buying it, he said, after he shook my hand, he said, what's that piece, right? As if it's like some fucking fancy ass watch. And I was like, I told them the truth, like it's, it's inexpensive, but the point is it's a conversation starter for people with money because people with money know about watches. If you have a nice watch on and you go handshake Mr. Andrew Tate over here, he's going to say, ah, that's an AP. It's a conversation starter. Just trust me on this one. Watches, very sick. Good investment. Pay to upgrade your image. You'll feel better. You'll look better. Great conversation starter with businessmen. This next point, chains are stupid. Okay, no self-respecting businessman wears chains. The only reason I'm wearing a chain is because I'm looking good, got my got the tarp off, okay? At the beach, chains are acceptable. But if you go to a business meeting and you're wearing your bling and all this fancy shit, no one's taking you seriously, right? Go back to this guy. Is he wearing a chain? 
No, he's got a bow tie. He's sophisticated, right? Sophistication is the name of the game. Sophistication. You want the people with money to take you seriously. So you dress like the people with money. Sunglasses can absolutely make or break an outfit. But if you want to look a bit older, sunglasses are a great way to go. Um, again, they play into the whole sophistication thing. So use them with caution. Consult an expert. All right, tailored fits. I'm going to move quickly through this one. Tailors exist for a reason. Get your jeans tailored. Doesn't have to be a suit, right? You don't have to be looking like a Mr. James Bond over here. Although it will help you if you do. Yeah, get your jeans tailored. You know, if you have a particular shirt, um, a particular nice shirt that you're going to wear to a business meeting, have it tailored, right? My friend, someone I know is actually going to meet a billionaire um, for a consulting project through an organization that he knows. And he's buying two tailored suits, right? Because intrinsically, you know, if you go to meet someone of value who you're going to ask something for, who you're going to pitch, right? Business. You got to look fucking good. So go get yourself a suit. Go tailor your jeans. And even like, imagine you're sitting at the airport, right? And you're in a nice tailored suit. You're in the business lounge. Sitting there like an amateur with your Nike hoodie on. No one's coming to talk to you. But again, if you take all the points from the previous slides, you got a tailored suit, you're looking good, you got a nice watch on. There's no way you don't make a connection or two. You might have to go introduce yourself, but you might walk away with a phone number or two. This is a quote I'm pretty proud of. I think I made this up. All right. I haven't heard anyone else say it, but dress where you want to be, not where you are. Okay. So if you want to be a multimillionaire, dress like a multimillionaire, right? If you want to be a successful business person, dress like one. Let me ask you something. Would a multimillionaire be looking like my guy on the left? Or would he be looking like my guy on the right? Which one do you think has more money? Just at first glance, which one has more money? We know nothing about them, know nothing about their lives, what they do. But first glance, who has more money? The guy on the left. The guy on the left obviously has more money, right? He's got a nice haircut, sunglasses, nice watch on. He's taking my advice. He's probably seen this video. He's looking good. He, he, you know, his shirts, his, his whole fit's probably tailored. You think he has more money? Let me put you in a thought experiment. If, you know... By the grace of God, comes you, you cross paths with someone with a lot of money. In which outfit do you have more chance of appealing to him in? In which outfit do you have more chance of conveying competence in that he should entrust you with his money? You can't unsee it. Style matters. Dress where you want to be. But do what makes you feel good, right? Like if you're closing deals in this outfit, then more power to you. Don't change what's not broken. The ankle thing. The ankle thing, bro, you can't unsee it once you've seen it. If you tailor your fit to where like just the ankle is showing and you have some nice dress shoes, somehow your your score out of 10 just goes through the fucking roof. I guarantee you this guy fucks. The amount of ankle showing is directly correlated with how much money you make. But in all seriousness, right? This is like the importance of getting your outfit tailored because this guy's looking good. All right, physique. You don't have to be as voluptuous and strong as me or The Rock or Chris Hemsworth or this guy. But the more muscle you have, usually the better you look. You're always going to look better in a suit if you're deezed, right? Men respect men and not boys. So if you're looking like a skinny motherfucker, even if you're wearing a suit, you will garner more respect from men if you're big and strong. It's just the way it is. When I go and meet you know, clients for landscaping, clients for my business in landscaping, or, you know, one-to-one -one calls online for marketing. The guys who have thick-ass beards, thick necks, and are fucking built like tree trunks, those are the guys I'm a little more cautious in my negotiation. Whereas the smaller guys, who I know I could fuck up with one head kick, I'm a little more ballsy and forward in my negotiation and how I navigate those sort of business encounters, right? It's just the nature of men. So get strong, hit the gym, get big. Being big absolutely will not hurt you in business, but being small might. You might get walked all over. Not physically, but respect is a real thing and physique absolutely garners respect from both men and women. One thing that prevents people from getting big is they don't want to lose their six pack, right? They got, 
they got the abdominals and they're like oh i don't want to bulk up because i don't want to you know lose my six pack it's like bro no one thinks you're cool because you have visible abs abs are only cool if you're also like 180 pounds and shredded right abs are only cool if you have a nice chest and shoulders and buys and tries to go with it otherwise you're just skinny now the cherry on top i've only recently discovered this but cologne is huge there was a study like 97 percent of women think cologne is sexy so you need some cologne not just to network with women but imagine you have a business meeting or imagine you were supposed to meet your future wife one day right god intended it that you're supposed to close a deal in your business or you're supposed to meet that special someone and you just stank. You just stank that day. You're losing the deal, boys. You're losing the deal. You're, you're fumbling the bag. Just get yourself a nice little bottle of cologne. Just squirt, squirt in the morning, right? And you're good to go. I hope you enjoyed that video. This is the channel where I document my life. Um, all my making money journey, all of my fitness journey, all of my, all of the lessons I learned, like this one, um, you know, I document here. This was more of a silly video, but there's a lot of like really important critical lessons that I've learned about business and life this year that I really want to share. So if you want some life changing advice, you can like and subscribe and do all that. <clears throat> but until next time, thank you very much for watching.